I'm John Beaumont and welcome to my channel on wildlife, the countryside and the animal industry. Today we talk about how to create a wildlife pond. It's very important if you have a pond in your garden and you want to attract wildlife that you don't put fish in it. That's the first thing. The linings for the pond, there are various available. Two that seemed the best one for our purposes was uh, a plastic affair. Lots of stones around the side. This is these provide refuges for all manner of garden wildlife, but especially frogs, of course. We have an area of marsh, very very small. You can we made a marshland area out of commercially available materials filled those commercially material avail commercially available materials with soil sunk them filled them with water and put native reeds into the mixture nowadays you can also buy a hedgehog home we covered our hedgehog home in soil and native moorland plants. This creates hibernaculum for amphibians. The vegetation in the pond is stratified. We have plants that stay close to the upper surface of the pond. Marsh plants that actually stay close to the pond but are not planted inside the pond submerged plants and plants that are rooted in aquatic compost in aquatic plant pots at the bottom of the pond we also have a hedgehog passageway in the corner that's my wildlife pond i hope you enjoyed this video if you did so please like it and please subscribe to my channel for more information on wildlife and the countryside. Thank you for watching.